Hello everyone, my name is Bubble Zest, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video, we're playing as Bulgaria, attempting to get the achievement Master Puppeteer. So let's begin with our army. Now, we have a small army that we can't really deal with much right now, so what we're going to do is place them on a fallback line and exercise them. Exercise them only so they have 5 experience. Now, for our production, we are going to immediately get rid of this motorised. Goodbye. I put it all into support equipment. We need at least 250 support equipment in reserve, and then we can switch over to spamming out more guns. We need this eventually to deal with the Imro. Now, of course, we don't have enough resources, so we'll buy some more from uh, Sweden, I think we'll do. For research, there's no reason to go anything other than the standard production and electronics. Make sure you create an intelligence agency. For our civilian factories, we're just going to have them to build more military factories. For focus, we're going to do a poser or a dictatorship, and now we're going to go to speed 5 and begin. Right, we've started our opposition to the royal dictatorship, and of course now we're going to go down democratic principles. With democratic principles done, we're immediately going to seek cooperation with the Tsar. Additionally, we need a new field marshal, so we're going to promote Nicola here to field marshal. He is probably the best start in general in this game, as he has brilliant strategist and organiser and infantry leader. So we are going to give him logistics wizard, aggressive assaulter and offensive doctrine eventually, when we have the command power to do so. Right, that's seek cooperation with the Tsar, and now we'll move on to Petrokata. And now, with that focus done, we are now in a position to deal with Bulgaria's factions. In my opinion, what we should do is get rid of the Broad Socialists and integrate everyone else. The Broad Socialists don't offer us many benefits that are useful to us, while everyone else, there's Venno and the National Social Movement, have some somewhat useful benefits. There, that's Protrokata done, and now at this point, you should just continue down to plot against Boris and the fate of the Balkans. Also, since we now have Protrokata, we can get political advisors a lot cheaper, so make sure you hire a democratic reformer. And there goes the Broad Socialists. Now we're just going to work on integrating the Agrarian Union for the moment. Alright, with Project against Boris done, we have now unlocked some new decisions for us to do. The most important of which is to brainwash political prisoners, persuade faction members, and then draw up a plan for regicide. At this point though, we can't continue down to fate of the Balkans, so I'm going to do restrained paramilitary organisations. That unlimited manpower weekly is too powerful for me to ignore. Then we're going to condemn Macedonian organisations and cooperate with the Zvenno. You could easily dissolve them, but in my opinion it's better to keep them around as they have this infantry expert right here. I like him too much, so that's why we're going to keep the Zvenno. Right, we have now got the ability to seek foreign support and execute the plan to do Boris's head off, so we should do both. As it says, by doing it we reduce the how long it takes and the stability loss. Right, condemn Macedonian organisations, we are immediately going to do anti-IMRO propaganda. Just keep going down your factions and wait for Boris's head to come flying off. Oh dear, Boris's head has come flying off, I wonder why. There we go, and now we'll form a Regency Council. You could do the Return of Sar Ferdinand, but I see no reason to do so. Right, we're forming our Regency Council now. The only sensible one, in my opinion, is the independent government. There you go, and now we can do the fate of the Balkans. So, let's do it. Right, with fate of the Balkans done, there are some things we need to do absolutely immediately. One is to refuse army restrictions. Don't worry, the UK won't do crap about them. And additionally, we are immediately going to send an ultimatum to Yugoslavia. And you're thinking, they won't accept it. And that's the point. They won't accept it. There you go, they refuse to join us. <laughs> that's so rude. Right, next step of the plan is to do nationalist propaganda. As you can see there, it gives us even more manpower. Additionally, what we're going to do is create a brand new template with our five experience. Have it just be one battalion of infantry and spam out a lot of them. How many can we afford? 101. Max priority once down there. And there you go. Spam them out as soon as you can. And finally, start improving relations with Greece, Turkey, and Romania. It's why getting rid of the IMRO is so important. With nationalist propaganda done, we've run out of focuses we can really do that's useful for us for the moment. So we're going to go down and acquire the modern tools path. And so we could do things like rebuilding the army and the like. 
and we need manpower so we're going to jump up to limited conscription don't worry the manpower isn't too bad we're integrating the Zven though at this point which will give us another 120 right we now have 50 feet divisions so now I think it is time to see if we can't get some new friends let's say hello to Greece will they join us perfect now will Romania and Turkey this is more risky Turkey says yes and Romania says yes perfect now in a moment when we have the political power we'll try and subjugate them but we still need more troops in the field because they can easily easily refuse it at this point what Francis is inviting us to the non-intervention committee why is that our problem that must be because we're a major technically because we have a faction <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> since France might like us a tad better, we'll attend your foolish intervention committee, even though I think the outcome of the Spanish Civil War is obvious. Well, well, we now have 150 political power and a load of rubbish units in the field. Let's try and subjugate these three nations. Oh, what do you know? They've given in. They've given in, and they've given in. Perfect. We've managed to outbluff them with some of the worst units in Hoi 4. <laughs> now let's request their units and prepare for war with Yugoslavia. The war goal still exists, and no one is guaranteeing them as Romania is in our faction now. And our puppet for good measure. Oh, look at that. That is 75 divisions extra. So let's just put them all together and prepare for war for Yugoslavia. They shouldn't be able to stop us. Right, our units are in position and in good organisation. Let's send our spy to Yugoslavia just to get those tiny little extra bonuses. No one is guaranteeing them still, so let's declare war. Don't call in your new puppets and let's go get Yugoslavia. <laughs> And there you have it, Yugoslavia is done. Now, we could just puppet all of them, but there is honestly no reason to. Let's get some puppets out of them instead. So to start with, we are going to do Serbia, which is ironic because of course Yugoslavia is Serbia, but actually, nah. What we're actually gonna start with is the Republic of Transylvania in Banat. <laughs> and Herzegovina, you only need a few extra puppets, as you already have Greece, Turkey, and Romania as your puppets, so we only need three more. So where's Bosnia? There you go. Technically, at this point, the achievement is basically done, as we could do more, but meh. Who wants to become a puppet? And there's the peace deal, but let's get a few more puppets, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Serbia. There you go. And now we can immediately, luckily, bring back some in Serbia. We can demand that from them. There you go. They can't decline it as they are your puppet. And yes, we do have some spectacularly unrefined border gore, but isn't that what Toy 4 is all about? And also, the AI of Italy does eventually want Slovenia and Dalmatia, so it can somewhat pay to own them directly. So, let's begin Bulgarian integration of the Balkans. Right, that's Bulgarian of the integration of the Balkans done, and now, you know what? We have high democratic support and all that, so let's finally do legislative elections. Yep, after all of this we decided that democracy is the path. Right, there we go, we now have Nikola Mushinov as our leader, and to finally cap it off, since the game allows us to do this, we are going to do the Third Bulgarian Empire. And there you go, the Third Bulgarian Empire. 70 days after Mushinov assumed power, he goes on a massive power trip and declares himself emperor. You've got to wonder how that would look in Bulgarian society and history. To ensure the security and continuing stability, the Republic will be reorganized into the Third Bulgarian Empire!
for a safe and secure society. There, the achievement run is completely over. We are Bulgaria and have more than five Balkan puppets. At this point, you should restore the Bulgarian Patriarch, as that gives us such a ridiculous buff of compliance. You should just do it by default. In fact, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. I thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Leave any suggestions in the comments below. But again, this has been me, Bubble Zest, and goodbye. <laughs>